So it's just coming up to high tide now. Um, I haven't actually dived this place on a high tide, so it's going to be quite interesting to see what's about. Just back from Malta, so the water temperature is going to be a lot different from there. 26 degrees in Malta, so it was a lot warmer. You can see my uh, fins are slightly bent from being wedged into a suitcase, but thankfully um, I'm getting the Salvamar uh, delivery very soon. I'd like to take this time to thank uh, Tony and all the lads working at Spearfishing UK for sorting me out with the sponsorship. So I'm very, very grateful for that. Thank you very much. So within one to two weeks, I'll be getting the uh, delivery. That includes, you know, a new set of everything basically. Um, so I can't wait to test all that gear out and hopefully spear some fish on a different gun. But for today, I'm using my homemade one. Hopefully target some some bass. Uh, if some lobsters are there, I'll obviously pull some lobsters out. As I said and mentioned in previous videos, it's very rewarding getting a fish on a gun that you've made yourself. So I'm gonna get suited up and jump straight in the water and see what we can get. So I can see a small fish approaching, I wasn't quite sure what it was at the time, uh, but it turns out it was a mackerel, so I take aim and hit the fish, and as you can probably tell from the video, I was quite excited about this, as it's the first mackerel I've hit on my homemade gun. So I quickly reload and head back down and hope to find another one. So on the next dive, in only about 4 or 5 metres of water, so not very deep, I'm surrounded by loads of little wrasses, but they're never on the menu for me so I let them pass. Some people like to shoot wrasses, I tend not to, as there's no sport in shooting them as they're so tame and they'll come right up to you. Not only that, they keep you company whilst you're down there.
see a smaller bus coming into my range I have a quick little look behind me and to my right just to make sure there's not anything bigger uh, there wasn't so I then line up this fish and take the shot it's not the biggest fish I must admit but it was of size As shown on the bottom right of the screen now, the fish measured 45 centimetres, which is just above the legal size limit for a bass. And for those who don't know, the legal size limit for a bass in the UK is 42 centimetres. With a bass and a mackerel caught, I then decide to head off to some lobster holes in hope to find one to bring home for dinner. I notice a very nice sized lobster in quite a deep hole. Um, it was missing a claw but there was still plenty of meat on that lobster. As you can see from the video, the hole is pretty deep. It's the length of the spear plus my arm um, and the lobster sitting right in the back. So after a few attempts of trying to get him out, I was unsuccessful. I didn't want to cause the lobster any more discomfort or damage it in any way, so I left this one and moved on to a few more holes that I knew of, but unfortunately I was unsuccessful. Once I was out of the water, I attended to the bass and mackerel which I caught previously. I gutted both fish and scaled the bass. I personally like to do this on the rocks. Returning any parts of the fish like the head or the guts only feeds the crabs and lobsters and other fish in the area and not only that, it prevents your bin from smelling. Apologies for not cooking the fish myself. I dropped the mackerel round to my nan's house and my mum and dad took the bass home for dinner. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming content. If you have any questions relating to the video or questions in general about spearfishing, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. That's it for the video. Thanks very much and I'll see you all next time.